I, can I say, before you ask me a question, what a job Preston did. You know, I watched tape today, and um, he's got a bunch of inexperienced guys to, to play Division One basketball. Um, and I watched the organization of how he had both sides playing because it was an inner squad. And I told him, you you got him organized. It doesn't look like a come down and just jack balls up. You're playing pick and roll. Uh, they posted. They, they posted us more than we posted them. Think about that. They out-rebounded us. Uh, they weren't afraid. Uh, and, um, you know, I, we needed this kind of game, to be honest with you. And I know it was for charity. It raised a half a million dollars. And, and the Rubicon people are here, Team Rubicon. Is anybody in here from there? Um, just to, what the job that they're going to do with that money. And, but uh, Moorhead State should be proud of what they've got going. Somebody said they were picked ninth in their league. Well, they're going to have four teams going to the NCAA tournament then. But they're ninth. My gosh. I mean, so good for them, though. I'm happy for them. Now, what did you think of your guard play tonight? All three of those guys seemed to play, have moments, play pretty well, scored it. I thought early. Shea's energy and his ability to deflect balls and make plays, and um, and then I thought that uh, Quad A, that's the best he's played. I still got to get him to get rid of the ball. He just wants to hold that thing. But when he gets rid of it, it comes back to him, and he scores because he can do it. And the second thing that happens when he gets rid of it, he's in a position that they have to space the court and play him because he can shoot that three. Um, Hami shot threes and he, I took him out. You're not playing that way. You're going to drive the ball or I will sub you. It's not that hard. So shoot a three, you're coming out. He shot one, he came out. From that point on, he drove the ball. He drove, he drove, he drove, and then he got one three late in the game. That's who he is. He will play that way, folks. And I love him to death or he won't play. But he will play that way. Um, I thought we had at halftime, we had three or four guys with one rebound. And I challenged them. They came back the second half and, and bang. Hard game for Nick to play because he's so much bigger and he's not as physical. So it was tough for him to play in that game. I thought Saucer was good. I thought Ty was good. Um, Wenyon was good. Um, you know, uh, six rebounds and came up with some balls and blocks. But again, I can say what I want, but Nick got three three block shots in 12 minutes. John, you said this is a good game for you guys, what you need. What, what do you hope your guys can get out of it? Well, they shot uh, 49%. That's not a team that I've coached. My teams, and they got out-rebounded. That's not my kind of team. That's not how my teams play. What I did like is 15 assists, 11 turnovers. Are you kidding me? A bunch of freshmen? And we're still learning how to play, too. Um, we, if we did not turn them over, they may have beaten us. We turned them over, and, 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 and you know that's, what, that's the advantage we had. But they out-rebounded us, um, you know, made more baskets from the three than we made. Um, but I'll tell you, Shea, Quad A, you know, Hami in that second half playing the way we want to play. Um, you know, Kevin Knox could have done some more stuff. I didn't think he was driving enough and we kind of got on him. PJ's got to do more and be more than he was in this game. But. You all, uh, Turned them over a lot, but once they got into the half court, it seemed Moorhead was really efficient shooting the ball. Yep. What do you have to say about your half court defense today? Not very good. I said we didn't turn them over, they were scoring. Not only that, they were making some threes where the breakdowns that bothered me were we switched on a pick and roll and our guys had their hands down. So you're six nine and you make yourself look six one. And the guy shot two threes on us. Second one that I'm bothered by is we try to steal balls. It's not how we play. We're not trying to steal balls. We're trying to deflect balls, but we're not trying to get out of position. And every time we got out of position, they made a three or a basket. Um, we didn't stay in the stance. We didn't, you know, they, they did some handoffs. We stopped playing, but that's what freshmen do. Now we'll be able to see it on the tape and talk about it.
Alan over on the left. Since the uh, little cramping problem with three of your kids, how much better when it comes to being in shape are your kids in, from A to B? Are they getting closer or not yet? We're a ways away. I cramped up today, though. We're a ways away. Cramped up. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to drink water. I guess when you get older. Can you t explain that to me as you get older? No <laughs> problem. So I got a few years to catch up to you, like eight, but. There I'm sorry. We talked a lot preseason about Shea's length, his wingspan. What can that do for you? And is maybe a unique player compared to what you've had some years back? Um, he's different, and uh, but he's just getting better. He works so hard. There was a, a, a quote I gave them from Will Smith. The, the question was asked to Will Smith. What do you owe your success to? How, how did you separate yourself from the pack? And he thought about it and he said, I was willing to die on the treadmill. You were willing to die on the treadmill. Explain what that means. Well, I wasn't sexier, I wasn't prettier, I wasn't more talented. But if that other guy and I were on a treadmill, he's getting off first or I'm going to die on the treadmill. I would outwork everybody. I am going to outwork. I'm asking them, you're not the sexiest, you're not the most talented, you're not the, hey man, are you willing to outwork? Today, we got outworked by some guys. And it's individuals in the room that you have to reflect and say, does this mean enough to me? Because every game we play, more came in here in Rupp Arena and had a chance to play and fight, they fought. But guess what? Every team that comes in here does the same thing. And if you don't fight back, it's obvious. People look and they say, man, that kid doesn't compete. He's not battling. He's not. That's what you learn here. And that's where our guys leave here. And when they go on, they do have success. And the guys that are on the edge to get in, they fight to get in, whether it's Dakari, whether it's Alex, whether it's Andrew, whether they fought to get where they need. That you learn that here. Today was a great lesson in that. Larry, then Larry. Tom, you said the other day that uh, Jamal Baker, would, that they were going to look at his knee again. Is there any update? There? Yeah, he's, uh, um, he had, uh, they scoped. They scoped it again. So he's going to be out probably three months. Um, so he'll be out. And Jared, I met with him and the doc today. We we're on a timetable, uh, some conditioning, work with Kenny, start practicing, and, and then see if where we are. So there's a good timetable now for him. And it's it's not just we're by chance happenstance we know and if we have to move it a little bit we can but let's start with the timetable that's what we're doing be nice to get one more guy john looking ahead us a little bit wonder why you went ahead and decided to schedule on the center college friday night would be a, a good thing for kentucky basketball well it's better for center college and and you know i'm not afraid to leverage this program uh, to help others. We did it tonight to create money for charity. Um, I was really happy we could do this uh, for Preston and Moorhead State. I mean, I love when their fans were chanting. That was the greatest. They made a run at us. It's a three-point game, and they're chanting and going nuts. And Come on, I mean, what's better than that? Now, for Center College, it's the same. I mean, I went and spoke to the uh, alums of St. Thomas More the night before. And I mean, they're just, you know, they're thanking me. And I'm like, look, man, this is, why not leverage the program to help other people and help, help other schools, especially in state or my own water. We've done that twice. John, I'm trying to look for positives. You're going, be, you're going to be in some close games this yeah. year. And when Moorhead got it to do and your team went on a spurt, what does that tell you about it? Well, we got to see who was in the game when we went on a spurt. See, that's what we, we, we chart rotations and, okay, what did that unit do? And we had some units that were good and we had some guys we had to take out that maybe starters were better without you in there. I don't know what to tell you. The numbers don't lie. There they are. Um, so we'll look at that and say who was in the game. And what you'll normally find out, it was energy guys. Guys just play with energy. Now, most teams will come in here. First half, beginning of the game, oh my gosh, they're jumping three inches higher than they ever have in their life. 
the game goes on. If they're not a great condition team, we may get an eight minute mark in the first half. Normally, like this team, they battled and they weren't afraid and they made a shot at the end and we came down and broke down and didn't do what we were supposed to. I, here's what we're doing and the guy went and he's pointing at it and he wouldn't, he wouldn't stop. So now they think they have a chance. But there was that seven minute mark, there was a point, an eight minute mark in the second half where they, you kind of get them if you keep coming. Now, good teams, whoever has the ball last wins. Two good teams. Or if there's a veteran team with veteran guards that we're going to play against and aren't going to turn it over like this, then we're going to have trouble. And we're going to have trouble early in the year. I don't care. You guys can all say, oh, he's just saying this. No, I'm prepared for it. Now, I'm going to be about these kids, and I'm going to be focused on how do I get individuals better because my belief until individual players get it, your team can never get better. I got to get Hami playing the right way. I got to get PJ playing the right way. I got to get Kevin Knox, Nick. We got to get them playing the way they got to play for themselves and for us. Now, that's why you play. This was a, I'll say it again, a great game for us right now. Last one from the cop. Yeah, you guys obviously went and got Jamal Baker late for a reason. Thought you needed some other outside shooting. How significant is it that some of your other guys have shown early here they can step out there and make the We're not we're not as bad as everybody says shooting the ball. I mean I'm with them every day. Um, but we're more of an athletic driving, throw the ball at the basket, go rebounded kind of team too. Uh, but you're gonna have teams that are gonna pack it in and you you're gonna have to make some shots. Um, you know, thirty seven percent not great. Um, but again we had a couple one for threes. You know, now all of a sudden, that's you, you do shoot 37. But 37, if you're near 40, again, historically, I've only had a couple teams above 37%, probably two or three, and I've been here seven, 17 years. How long have I been here? Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, folks. It's dog years here. So seven times eight, I've been here 56 years. 